My main message right now is obviously uh, the deepest sympathies of the American people to uh, the four Marines that have been killed. Uh, it is uh, a heartbreaking uh, circumstance uh, for uh, these individuals who have served our country with uh, great valor uh, to, be, uh, to be killed in this fashion. Uh, and uh, although the, the families are still in the process of being contacted, uh, I want them to know uh, that uh, I speak for the American people in uh, expressing our deepest condolences and uh, knowing that they have uh, their full uh, they have our full support uh, as uh, they try to overcome the grief that's involved here. Uh, I also want to uh, say that uh, there are reports of injuries to uh, Chattanooga uh, local law enforcement officials. Uh, thankfully, as far as we know at this point, uh, they have survived the assault, uh, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, they know that we're thinking of them. They're in our thoughts and prayers. Um, you know, we take uh, all shootings very seriously. Uh, obviously, when you have an attack on uh, a U.S. military facility, uh, you know, then we have to uh, make sure that we have uh, all the information necessary to make an assessment in terms of uh, how this attack took place uh, and what further precautions we can take in the future. Uh, and as we have more information, uh, we'll let the public know. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I'd ask uh, all Americans to pray uh, for the families who uh, are grief-stricken at this point. And uh, I want everybody to understand that uh, we will be um, thorough and prompt in figuring out exactly what happened.